An equalizer, or EQ, is a gain control that affects only a specific range or band of frequencies within the overall hearing range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Gain adjustment in different ranges affects the tonal balance of the audio, applied for both corrective and creative purposes. I'm not going to do a whole tutorial on the concept of EQ. I'll assume that people are basically familiar with how EQ is used in recording and mixing, but I will play examples of Logic's various EQs in action as we go through them. There are several common EQ layouts. The simplest is the familiar two-band EQ, aka bass and treble controls, found on hi-fis and other consumer equipment. This design consists of two EQ bands, one for the lows and one for the highs, and is good for making broad adjustments to brightness and bass. A graphic EQ consists of a number of narrower bands, usually centered around fixed frequencies, most typically 10 or 31, that allow for more specific tweaks to different tonal ranges. The most full-featured type of EQ, and the most common in studios, is the parametric EQ. A parametric EQ consists of several bands, most typically three or four, each with controls for three parameters. Gain sets the amount of boost or cut for the band. Frequency sets the center frequency of the band's range. Most bands provide peaking EQ, affecting a range of frequencies around the center frequency. Often, the lowest and highest bands affect all frequencies below or above that set frequency, respectively. Bands with this response provide shelving EQ, and the center frequency is instead called the corner frequency. The third per band parameter sets the width of the particular band, expressed as a value called Q. Lower Q values correspond to wider bandwidths, good for broad, subtle EQ tweaks. Higher Q means narrower bandwidth, good for more surgical EQ fixes. A Q of around 1 or so is a typical starting point. 1.4 is a bandwidth of 1 octave. Some parametric EQs offer only partial control for each band, or full control on only some bands. These are referred to as semi-parametric EQs. Logic's bread and butter EQ is the channel EQ. This is an eight band fully parametric EQ with gain, frequency, and Q controls for every band. The middle four bands are peaking EQs surrounded by shelving bass and treble bands. The outer two bands consist of a high pass and low pass filter with controls for both slope and bandwidth. The bands are color coded, though the colors are only displayed when the mouse is positioned over the central area, the display, and the settings. Adjustments can be made by dragging on the nodes in the display, or the numerical values below, or by clicking and typing in a value. Holding down Command will limit dragging to vertical or horizontal movement for better control. In the display, there are DB scales on either side. Dragging on either of these shifts the vertical level calibration from a linear scale to a logarithmic scale, which is good for viewing smaller gain adjustments in more detail. There's no overall input gain control, but there is an output gain slider intended to adjust the overall level of the track so the EQ'd signal maintains the same overall level as the un-EQ'd signal. The entire EQ curve in the display is shifted when output gain is adjusted to reflect its effect. This can be used to maintain the track's balance in a mix, but it's also helpful when bypassing the EQ. Experienced mixers know that it's a good idea to periodically bypass EQ to see how far away from the original tonal balance of the signal you've come. It's easy to get carried away when EQing, especially when EQing in isolation on a solo track. So comparing the process track with the original version at the same level can be an important occasional reality check. When approaching EQ, novice mixers always want to know which frequencies to dial up to get the best tone for various instruments. Of course, there's no simple answer to that. It depends on the individual recordings and the mix, but a few very general suggestions could be offered. I'll look at a few typical examples in the next video.